Hi folks, this is Ali and I wanted to share with you guys an online question that came up. A recent graduate asked me if I had to choose between a microscope and a CBCT machine for a new practice. Which one would I choose? And I thought that was really a good question. So let's get to it. Okay, first let me clarify that my answer is coming from an endodontist's perspective and it may differ if you're a general dentist or a different specialist, all right? So keep that in mind. And also let me get this out of the way and be clear that I believe that both the microscope and the CBCT are staples of the modern endodontic practice and they both provide an invaluable and a non-replaceable service to the endodontic surgeon. The CBCT will help with diagnosis and treatment planning, while the scope helps with the diagnosis, treatment planning, as well as the actual treatment itself. So this is why if I'm pressed into a corner and I have to choose one over the other one, I will probably choose the microscope. The main reason is because we don't really talk about this. There really are two different types of root canal procedures that are done in our profession. One is done microsurgically and the other is done with the naked eye or with the aid of low power loops. And there is really no question in my mind or any other experienced endodontist's mind that the procedure that is done under the microscope is clearly more predictable because you can see better and obviously you only treat what you can see. Yes, we may get away without the scope in some simple anterior teeth using the naked eye. When it comes to more complicated root canal anatomies, however, where the axis preparation is complicated, these two modes of treatment aren't even comparable. Frankly, I realized how important the scope is to my personal practice when I recently tried to do a molar demo for someone without having my scope around. I had to stop in the middle of the thing because I couldn't see anything with the naked eye and I have perfect vision and, that, and I don't even wear glasses, at least not yet, right? So the ability to visualize and resolve the root canal anatomy at a higher power has been shown to improve the success rate of your clinical procedures surgically as well as non-surgically where you can see what you're treating versus guessing what you have. Where's that MB2 again? Oh, I think I can see it. <laughs> CBCTs are a modern phenomenon, and while they are extremely helpful, you only need to access a CBCT, and that's why you could have a neighboring colleague or refer the patient to a treatment center for the CBCT, but you need the microscope to render the care, and that's why, in my humble opinion, the scope wins this battle hands down. Using the microscope presents a high learning curve. So the sooner you get started using one, the better off you are. You need at least a good 100 hours here to get comfortable using the scope. So don't give up and start sooner rather than later so that you can get through those practice hours as soon as possible and get those hours under your belt so you can move on and do your care properly. Anyway, leave your comments and let me know what you think about this uh, um, perspective and share your perspective with me and your colleagues. And in the meantime, start saving up some money so you can buy that CBCT machine of your dreams so you can apply it to your practice and improve the treatment planning and diagnosis for your patients and the rendering of your clinical care using the microscope. Anyway, for Real World Endo, I'm Alina Sen. I hope this little quick tutorial was helpful.